the, the pastime is all it was. Time got boring and <laughs> I couldn't go out and mow my lawns or do my garden, which I do in the summertime. That's what takes up most of my time. And there was a couple that I got a, I got carried away, especially a lighthouse, beautiful, six-sided, so hard to do, tapering in. Man, you have to cut all them tapers and everything and all your clad boards have to be fitted. So that's the little red schoolhouse in Galveston, Texas. <laughs> That's where the, they're all ideas that I dream about in bed. <laughs> That's the beach house. Made out of bamboo. Actually what I did, I made something for every one of my grandchildren and my daughter. Oh boy. But I have I have a ball doing it, but that's what I do. I will be in August the nineteenth. I'll be seventy five. I came to Toronto here in, uh, and I worked on my own instead of with, 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 for anybody. I started my own business. Jim and I, my twin brother, is a bricklayer as well, but I started in, in 57, he started in 58. A uh, lot, of, lot of work in, in, in Toronto here, uh, especially uh, Bobble Hill Fire Hall. Uh, I contracted that on my own and built it, and the one that most impressive is the Bank of Commerce on Prince Street. I worked with my father, he was a carpenter, I kind of worked with him when I got out of school. I quit school, I got my grade 10. I always told everybody I wasn't hiring anybody in the Pugwash High School because I put the last row of brick on top of the chimney, but that's not true. I had one more year to go. <laughs> I got my grade 10 I decided, well, I, I go to work and I went to work with my father. as a carpenter and dad, one of the old type carpenters that could build a house from beginning to end. Couldn't read a blueprint, but he could read that square inside, inside note. <laughs> 